Alrighty, so today I'm going to be talking about the Lightmaster 3 or the Lightmaster Pro. This is an affordable little meter that you can buy off AliExpress. I'll pop the link in the description if you're interested. This was recommended to me by a couple of flashlight enthusiasts online and I think it's a great little deal for what you get. It cost me about $50 Australian and it measures Lux whether your flashlight flickers, the color temperature and color rendering index, which is uh, quite important as well if you're using that flashlight to identify colors. So certain flashlights, certain LEDs are going to have a low CRI index, which is going to make it quite difficult for you to identify uh, colors under it. So I think um, this is a really good deal for what you pay for. And um, I want to go through just some of the demonstrations on how it works, what you get, and um, we'll go for there. So basically, this is all that you get. It's a tiny little package, and uh, I've already opened it up, but it came with a little bag um, here. It doesn't even come with a manual or anything like that. Um, and then you've got the actual Lightmaster Pro or the Lightmaster 3 here. So it's got a nice kind of aluminium shell. Um, and it's charged here by micro USB. It would it be nice to have a USB-C? But um, yeah, this is good enough. I guess it works. And uh, one thing I found though, I have charged this. I tried to pop, pop it into my computer and charged it for a couple of hours. And um, it still had that red light that showed up. So uh, probably just maybe it doesn't turn off or it's already charged. But that's just something I noticed. Basically, it has a little sliding mechanism here. So you just push it out like that and um, you can see that the top of it starts flashing um, white meaning that it's on I think when you start connecting to it via Bluetooth it turns completely uh, on so it just turns uh, into a white light uh, there's a sensor here on the top left I think that's the luck sensor and this sensor here which um, measures color temperature and the other functionalities so um, I thought this was pretty cool just in such a small package like this I mean it's really tiny with it extended out it is about nine centimeters uh, long and let's see about three and a half centimeters wide so um, yeah of course when it's when it's uh, closed up you've got about six centimeters three by six centimeters so it's a tiny little thing that you can carry around I think for those people who are more into uh, maybe photography and filmography you know this would be something that's useful as well to just determine the uh, the temperature of the light that's around you uh, for color correction purposes so um, anyway I'm gonna show you how it connects so uh, again and you get this little bag with it it's not um, it's like a kind of microfiber bag which I thought was cool just to have something um, to carry it or uh, to carry it with and if we have a look over here um, you have to install an app so this is the app that you need to install on your phone so if you've got an Apple iPhone or if you've got uh, an Android phone you just have to go to the App Store and look for Lightmaster, Oppo Lightmaster and um, install that app there's only one thinks about 5,000 downloads so um, I've already connected mine up but uh, let's see if I can um, go ahead and do that again so I might just hit that add uh, that little button here that says plus um, activate the light master push the inner part out so that's already done let's go to the next step so we'll start detecting by Bluetooth and should connect pretty soon okay and now it's telling you now it's telling me that I check if the LED indicator is constantly on and it is you can see in the top right corner so I'm going to continue and uh, from here what you can do is start measuring so this is only photometry um, tab and um, I have got my ring light on okay and so it's actually measuring the color temperature of my ring light the Lux and over here the rendering index as well so um, this is pretty close to what it was advertising it was at 95 to 97 um, from the specs of this ring light that I have so I think that looks pretty good you can see over here the color temperature as well 5400 K so it's more on the cool end and over here you've got the Lux readings as well so notice that it changes about every couple of seconds or so 
um, you know, I had another Lux app on my phone and it was measuring it very, very quickly. So it was kind of updating every half second or, or even less. So um, that's something to keep in mind as well. When I had, when I, I tried this on a flashlight before, just using a ceiling bounce test, you'll find that there is a slight delay, uh, maybe like a one, one and a bit second delay before the, the um, meter actually picks up that reading. So it's not going to be a big deal if you're actually pointing the flashlight straight into the light master. But um, anyway, what I can do is we'll do a little demonstration. I'll switch off this ring light and um, I'll pick up a few flashlights and just show you how it works. Okay, so over here, you can see that I have my SC31 Pro just pointed straight at the testing location. Um, the RA is 60, about 60, color temperature 5200, and, and as I sort of move that torch around, it actually changes a fair bit, so I think if you had something to maybe hold the torch, you'd probably get a better reading, but um, you know, it's pretty close to what the specs of the actual LED is. You've got 3,500 lux. I think this is going to be useful as well, so um, you could measure throw on this app um, given if you just sort of measure the distance uh, maybe like a meter to check check what the lux figures are from a meter or five meters if you or even 15 meters if you've got a, a really throwy flashlight and uh, use a calculation to calculate how far that light will actually throw so um, there you go that's one and um, another thing you can do as well is you can switch over here and into the photometry tab and actually shows a little graph um, depicting where your flashlight or where that light source lies on the um, the, the, the spectrum here. So you can see, um, I think over on the right hand side, you've got more to the warm side and to the left, you've got more sort of uh, to the cooler side. So you can got blue and then um, more sort of warm on that side. So you can see this one's around, um, yeah, that 5,000 mark in there, but it just gives you a bit of an indication visually where it lies. You can't really enlarge it or anything. Um, there's a few of these little figures here as well, which uh, can be used to do other calculations. I need to look into it um, here as well. I think that's just a, a reproduction of, um, of that. So um, anyway, we can go over to the flicker. So we'll stop that measurement, go over to flicker and um, have that light held over like that. And then what you can do is just start and what we'll do, we'll start measuring um, to see whether this light has any flickering. And um, you can see at this um, at this particular setting, this ramping option on my Sofern, there is no risk. So it gives it like a, a score there, frequency, and you can actually go into the raw data as well um, to see how often this light flickers. I think this is in, so that's milliseconds. So it, so it sort of goes, it flickers every, let me have a look. Yeah, I think like every one millisecond or something like that. So I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look at this more. I'm not an expert. I'm still learning on, on how actually to measure this. Um, but I think it's really good value that you have a meter that's about 50 bucks and it can do things that other meters um, that cost up to $1,000 will will do as well. So, and of course there are a few other limitations and uh, functions that aren't available on this device, but I think for a hobbyist or just someone looking to, to get a, a, an affordable and uh, usable light meter, I think this is really great value considering it just measures so many things. And, right, so I've got my Workos FC12 with the SFT40. Let's go ahead and check the color temperature here. Um, so it's showing up as about 6,500K, um, the rendering index 68, about a 68. Okay, so that fits in quite well with uh, what the specs are on the Luminous website, which is between 5,000 to 6,500K. Um, let's go ahead and check uh, the flicker. And um, again, no risk raw data and look at that really nice clean sort of um graph there okay um i've got another sft light i've got my um sofa and if22a and i think this will be interesting because this i think this one actually appears a little bit um, warmer than my other one so uh, my other sft light so let's see if this does any uh, makes any difference 
hang on, I'll just put that over. Okay. And definitely, as you can see here, the Lightmaster is picking up about 6,000K or uh, lower. Let me see if I can increase the brightness and the light. It starts to go up a little bit. It's interesting, as you pass more current um, to the LED as well, um, the color temperature changes. So it was actually warmer as the light was dimmer and the um, rendering index 65 which is as expected for this LED let's go ahead and check the flicker All right, another another really clean graph again and uh, no risk so well all right, so this was my first time using this Lightmaster Pro or Lightmaster 3. So um, I'm actually really impressed with what it does and considering how much I paid for it, um, the quality of its construction as well, um, the, the overall size of it, I think it's great. Um, something that you could easily just fit into your collection. No need to carry around a gigantic sort of meter with you. So I'll definitely be using this in my future reviews as well. And I'm also interested to use the Lux meter to see if I can do some throw tests from a distance and uh, calculate the candela. Uh, of a particular flashlight, see how far it throws. If you're interested in getting one of these, I've popped the link in the description. I, I've been told that these go out of stock pretty often, so they're quite high in demand. So if you do see one available and you're interested, probably grab one. Uh, again, they're not too pricey. They're you know fairly affordable for a light meter and considering everything that they can do, I'd certainly recommend it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. And if you wanna see more, make sure you like and subscribe.